This will be gypsum cabin. It's amazing, isn't it? So, it's a really nice example, isn't it? Caves are host to the oldest stories in stone. Enveloped in their form are cave formations older than dinosaurs, fossils that give light to a life once lived amongst hippos, reindeer, even woolly rhinoceros. The spaces beneath our feet are steeped in fear and mystery, misunderstood gems often overlooked. Yet the stories carved in their stone tell us of a climate and its change on a scale that far exceeds any glacier. Within and beneath their walls lie the secrets to our past, suggestions for our future, adventure, science, immense beauty, and most excitingly for us cavers, the last remaining wilderness. The Yorkshire Dales are host to the most magnificent cave systems in the United Kingdom. They are significant in terms of their geology, fauna, archaeology and are some of the most extensive cave systems in the world. So what are these fascinatingly beautiful places and how have they come to be? Karstic caves are essentially natural underlands and need two key ingredients to form, water and a porous soluble rock. The Yorkshire Dales is world class for caving as it has an abundance of both rain and limestone, the best cave forming rock there is. And not only is this limestone vast, it's over 200 meters deep As streams disappear through the cracks and grikes of limestone, it slowly, over thousands of years, dissolves away a network of sculpted passageways on multiple dimensions. A Swiss cheese of subterranean waterfalls, streamways and caverns adorned with crystals and calcite formations unlike anything else seen above ground. There are many breathtakingly beautiful places on the Earth's surface. In Britain, the Yorkshire Three Peaks, Penny Ghent, Wernside and Ingleborough are admired by hundreds of thousands of adventurers every year. Little do they know that beneath their feet lies a hidden world of astounding beauty and intrigue for those curious enough to explore it. As boots hit the slabs of Ingleborough, cavers far below dangle excitedly above seemingly bottomless pits. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. There are lights getting lost into the enormity of these curious spaces, which are sadly too often feared rather than revered. This is what I love about caving. I mean, where above ground would you ever see anything as amazing as this? And, and yet when, when you sit and you think about what caving is, you know, I bet you these aren't the things that you're imagining in your mind. 
And that is what I really, really love about caving, is that every time you turn a corner, you have no idea what you're going to find. It's just a fascinating sport. Not only for the amazing, fun, physical excursion of going through the cave, but you know all the history and the fossils and the beautiful formations that you get. The waterfalls underground. And particularly for me, because I do a lot of outdoor sports, I mean, I, I love everything really adventurous, is the fact that caving is the only sport where you can be a genuine explorer. They're where you can be the first human being to find something, to give it a name that it will be referred to for the rest of time. And, you know, today you can't find a new mountain, a river or a sea, but you can find a new cave and you can find it right here beneath Ingleborough and we still are at this very day. So when you're ready, you can give them a quick look down. Yeah, that's really nice Caving can be the birthplace of self-belief, resilience and inner peace. The journey through a cave can go as deep personally as it does into the limestone beneath us. Once one has revelled in the bravery to see the water for the rocks, a whole new world can unfold in front of you. An emancipation of surrendering into the unknown and a peace in the realism that nothing was to be feared after all. Gaping Gill is a subterranean system spanning over 24 kilometres beneath Ingleborough Mountain. Its entrance perched 400 metres above the sea is a sight to behold. And it is here where Fellbeck suddenly disappears, falling 98 metres before it hits the ground in a chamber so big you could fit York Minster into it. In fact, it is the largest chamber and the deepest open natural shaft in the whole country. A seemingly chaotic network of silent passages, glistening streamways and lofty chambers lead through the mountain to emerge at an equally spectacular resurgence of Ingleborough Cave. To traverse their passages is an enthralling and all-encompassing experience, yet most excitingly, much of this mysterious cave is still waiting to be discovered. In the Yorkshire Dales, it is reckoned that less than 50% of the caves have been explored. The age of true exploration above ground is long gone, but underground there are still vast treasures to be found. Gaping Gill in all its grandeur is still 
only one of over 2,000 cave entrances that give access to over 500 kilometers of mapped cave beneath the dales. Caves are one of the environments where you can truly listen to nature. They are one of the few remaining spaces undisturbed by man-made noise. They are spaces of total darkness and total silence. And as the mystics say, silence speaks and so it soothes. Gypsum cabin. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, it's a really nice example, isn't it? Construct style cards. Yeah, I mean, the thing that I particularly love about the conventions of the ground is that you'll never find two the same. It's absolutely fabulous. And you can see these ones here. You've got helictites, you've got your proper stalactites here. I mean, this one's really unusual, isn't it? And I've got one that while it's going down, it's going back up as well. And then there's, yeah, and the deposits in the ceiling, it's beautiful. It's amazing to think that it's taken thousands and thousands of years for something like this to form. It's just incredible. And the complexity in them. You know, there's no two that are the same. It's phenomenal. They resonate a deeply calming acceptance, a perspective like a braille trail through the 350 million years of fossils embedded in their walls. One cannot help but be humbled by the realization that the roots of their existence makes the dinosaurs seem recent. The scale of what they have witnessed is truly extraordinary. The first flower to unfurl, the first ripples of bird song through the air. The whole of human history is but a speck on their timeline. And whilst humans have evolved, fought and conquered, caves have quietly been there beneath it all. To the open, unconditioned mind of a child, caves are natural wonderlands, water parks with endless potential for fun. Their form and interest as varied and unique as the children themselves. Fossils and crystals for the treasure hunters, climbs and abseils for the adventurers, form and beauty for the creatives and no better way to enrich a child than a hands-on education in geography, geology, and physical and mental autonomy. The journey through a cave is a special one because the experience and its intentions are as multifaceted as the people who embark upon them. The journey can transcend limiting notions of destination, competition or time. What do you think of that, Harry? Even more fun. Even more fun. <laughs> wow. For it is about the quality and the richness of experience rather than the quantity or conquering of it that matters 
and in the absence of performance anxieties, caves can disarm and fascinate, for caves are a treasure hunt of massive proportions for the child, small and old alike. The underworld is stunning but immensely fragile. Even an innocent touch can change the delicate balance between chemistry and nature. Caves are like time machines. They sit quietly beneath the Earth's surface, silently recording changes to the climate and their environment over hundreds of thousands of years. Today, it is possible for scientists to extract this information about past climate and its change from caves all around the world. And this helps to improve our understanding of how the climate system works Wow, this is such a stunningly beautiful place, um, incredibly ancient, like these stalactites and stalagmites around us have taken a few hundred thousands of years to form, but they're also incredibly delicate, so it's really important whenever you're underground and you see this tape here, which we call cave conservation tape, that you walk between the lines and that's in order to protect these very beautiful, but also very scientifically important places. Most caves don't have this conservation tape and it is up to the visiting explorer to act with great care and respect in these fragile environments. All caves are important, each one precious and information rich in their own unique way.
It is a great privilege to visit these wonderful places, but with this comes a deep responsibility to protect them for future generations.